Okay, from left and right, we have graduate student attacking Jake Evangelist, head coach Peter Millman, graduate student defender Bo Zula. Pete, opening statement about the game, then we'll take some questions. Sure. Um, hard fall contest, a lot of emotions. Um, probably could have done without um, what seemed like 20 minutes of penalties in the first quarter. Um, but uh, about as, you know, Good of a defensive effort as I can remember seeing, and uh, and just really happy for the boys and and uh, what it took to to get to this point to um, you know build together and and, and stay together throughout. Um, and I thought they did a great job of that today, and uh, and, and been happy for um, an accomplishment that I think is pretty significant to go undefeated in this conference and and win this uh, regular season title outright. Um, you know, there's just a lot of pieces I, I think I mentioned beforehand, like nothing really trumps bringing the crowd back to uh, um, to our to our facility, to our home, and uh, and I think that will probably stay as the most important takeaway of the game and uh, and the day. But um, I think they're just you know there was a lot of other things on top of it, a lot of other things that were uh, kind of baked into that same day. Um, so I just uh, really proud of these guys and, and what they've been doing so far. Questions? What did you think kind of went into that thorough defensive football? Because obviously they got a couple on extra man, they got long transition. It felt like for the most part though that you guys had answers to just about everything they wanted to get. Yeah, I think one of the biggest things this year for us as a team has been uh, team wins. You know, defense helping out when offense needs a little bit of assistance and offense helping out when the defense needs a little bit of a break. And I think that's uh, really just what we focus on and, and helping out the offense. And, um, you know, I think we've just got such a tight unit, and that's that's what's most important to us is just playing tight and playing together, and all is one. Fun, just how impressed were you with how well your defensive midfielders played today? Yeah, they're always great. I think they're the most underrated unit in the country. Uh, we've got you know really great depth across the board, uh, and just great individual talent. I mean, I've, I've never seen a uh, short stick unit take away the ball so much as these guys. So it's, it's pretty impressive watching them play. Can you talk about the play of your goalie. Oh my gosh, and I can't say enough there. I think uh, he's been the backbone of our defensive unit and uh, always a calm voice. And uh, I can't really say much more than that. It's brick wall. Sure. With, with, the, with the, the three minute non releasable penalty there, kind of surviving that, like how did you feel like, you know, not that you were happy to give up goals, but to be able to you know, emerge from that with the lead still? Um, how did yeah. you kind of feel like you guys weathered that? I mean, I don't know if it qualifies as surviving when it, it, it just at some point it runs out. It, like the, the time runs out. We gave up goals. Um, you know, I we we, we weathered it. Uh, it. It could. It they have the, the potential to get very ugly and, and to hold um, that group to two goals in a three minute non release ball. I thought was a, a good accomplishment. You know, there was some there was some face offs in there. There was some clears. There was some failed clears. There's a, a lot of things that go into that, but. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm glad it was early in the game and not late in the game because that might have uh, that might have given me a, a different level of anxiety. Jacob, coach, touch on it. Just with how tough this conference is, <clears throat> you've both been part of it. Just how, how speak how much it means to you just to finish the regular season undefeated in the conference. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, you know, we had a setback right before we started conference play, and I think it kind of. Uh, it all came together after that. Um, kind of, it was kind of a wake-up call, and you know, we uh, we sleep shot into conference play, and, and we did look back, and you know, it's it's a product of our whole team and all the guys in that locker room, all sixty guys, and like Bo said, when the offense isn't playing well, the defense is helping. When the defense is playing well, the offense is helping. So, um, you know, we did that today, and um, I could be proud of this group. Pete, when you took this job, um, how long did it kind of take you to get a handle on? How this rivalry with Maryland is different than other rivalries you've been involved with, and and how have you kind of have you kind of seen this game every year or sometimes twice a year as a measuring stick to national title ambition? Of course, you guys have. I, I, you would know this. How many times have we played them since I've been here? Like eight. This is the so eight. This is the seven. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think we've played any, any team eight times in, in that short span. So, I mean, I, the answer to your question, I don't know. Uh, you know when I would get a handle on it. You know, you start getting inundated with it pretty quickly. So I think in my immediate press conference after the announcement, I was getting questions about it, and uh, um, you, you get a taste of it. You know, the first the first time you're there, it's different. You get a taste of it um, 
with how the week goes and, and the different uh, you know energy and focus and intensity from uh, the guys in the locker room, from alums and uh, and everybody else around it. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really know when uh, I really got it. I don't know if I ever really will. I guess I just just try to to be here to help these guys, uh, you know, find some success. I mean, it's 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 an intense rivalry. It's um, you know maybe the emotion got a little bit of the best of us in the first quarter there, but um, I thought we settled in. You know, played played much better after that, and uh, and that's the kind of things it takes um, to be successful in this matchup. And you're gonna have a lot, a lot of tough plays. You know, more than the probably more than the highly highly skilled plays. You're gonna have some just some tough kind of ugly ones. Can you talk about the joy of lifting up that crab? It's awesome. Uh, you know, it's great rivalry. It's one I think we all grew up watching. It's the biggest one in the, the sport, and um, you know, we'll take we'll take any one and, and hoist that crab. Well, uh, just I believe last time you guys played them on this field was the Big Ten tournament last year, and they get beat you obviously. Was that going into this week? I mean, people was just describing the intensity of this week. Was that something that you were guys were thinking about this this year? I don't know if that one in particular stood out. I think, uh, like Coach mentioned, there were a lot of games in the last couple of years that I think that that set the tone more than anything. Um, if we needed anything else on top of just it being the rivalry and um, kind of the the extra emphasis we put on this game. And just this was the this is the largest attended college game this year, the largest attended game at Homewood in twenty years. What does that mean to you? Kind of seeing that those benchmarks reached in this game. I think it's great for the for the program and the university, but I think I think I speak for the rest of the guys when uh, it don't, doesn't really matter for us. We'll play them with no fans. We'll play them in the parking lot wherever it takes. Uh, I think we're just excited to go out there and compete. Jacob, what was it like playing in that that atmosphere? Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. It's awesome. It's uh, like I said earlier, it's one of the the, the greatest games in our sport. And um, but at the end of the day, like Logan said, we got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. On the field and stay level, um, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a uh, definitely a fun one and one uh, you look forward to. Hey Pete, several times on clears, I saw you and a couple of the other coaches saying like slow it down, slow it down. Was there a concerted effort not to look for stuff in transition, or were you comfortable in six on six kind of, or maybe I'm just seeing what I, I, I just really wanted the ball when we had <laughs> the ball. I didn't want to give the ball back. Um, <clears throat> there was a little bit of both. Some of it was slow down um, once we completed the clear to make sure we retain possession. Some of it was communicating with. Uh, a few of the guys as we're subbing across the midline. There's there's some you know uh, real challenges of doing that with a crowd like this where they can't hear you. So sometimes I'm jumping up and down and yelling like this, which maybe means on sides. I don't know. Maybe it, they can't tell what it means anyway. So we got to come up with a new set of hand signals. But um, yeah, I, there were some transition opportunities. It's, we got to get better at that. I don't know if it's our biggest strength. I think we were we were more comfortable like making sure we have our half field defense in and if and we have to score goals in half field offense. If we get some transition opportunities, that's great, but I don't think it would have benefited us to do it at the risk of giving them more of those opportunities because they're better in transition, they're better in substitution patterns, they're better in that phase of the game um, than, than probably we wanted uh, to give up. So in, in that regard, we're, we're more comfortable more. playing a half field game. Thank you. Pete, you mentioned that you felt this was one of the more impressive defensive performances you've seen in a long while. For sure. I think about the fourth quarter where they didn't even get a shot off the first nine minutes of the quarter. Uh, that some of that's your defense, some of that's your riding game. Mm -hmm. just, just can you put in context how remarkable that is when it's a tight game late, late, and you basically just kind of put them in a headlock? Um, I mean, we've we've. Tended to be better as, as the game progresses. I think just in general, like our fourth quarters are where we, we feel some confidence. And, and I don't know if it's a schematic difference or just that, you know, you can start to feel the energy pick up or you can hear the voices from guys that, uh, you know, we're going to make a play when we need to or whatnot. Um, I think there's an extra focus there. I think there's an intensity that comes with it. Um, you know, after seeing things a few times, they're so well well coached on both sides of the ball that you start to understand like what are the tendencies that we're getting, what kind of things can they probably go to. I mean, I hear it all the time. Bo's probably uh, the best at it, but as soon as the defense comes comes together, and you know, right away he's like, uh, we got to watch out for this, we got to watch out for that. They last time they did this, they're probably going to do this a different way. And and you know, to have your 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 group like you know that aware of of those situations, I think is a big deal, and, and it comes. 
it's it's a product of the, the investment and the time that they put in and, and the degree that uh, you know Coach K and the staff prepares them. I think they, they, they know what they're looking for and they're you know trying to communicate that to us as kind of assistant coaches in that regard. They do a great job.